What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my brand new technique. This is the flare cut and color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a burst of brightness on the top of the head. We're gonna set it a little asymmetrical uh, and then we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you guys a really cool long bob haircut to go with it. So to start the color, what I did was I created the star effect. So a lot of triangles working around the head. I set that asymmetrically and now I'm gonna have some fun playing with the brand new creative shades from Kenra. So the first color I'm choosing is the muted copper. I'm gonna put that in as my base. So that's the majority of the color I'm using. I add a dash of red and a dash of black for a little bit of depth. And that's gonna be the underneath. Uh, that's really just sitting underneath that flared effect that we're creating with our next color, which is gonna be muted copper again. But then I'm gonna add yellow to it to really brighten it up. So just an explosion of brightness, reds, oranges, different tones going through the hair. Uh, I think you guys are totally gonna like it. So let's finish the application. So there's the color technique guys, pretty simple. Like I said, just put that depth on the bottom, that flare on top, and now we're gonna walk you through the haircut, separating the front and the back. You can see how that vertical line goes straight down the hairline in the back. That shows me that that's the same density in the back, and then as we work towards the front, we're working with the same density as well. We're basing this off of a side parting, a left-hand side parting, and then I take a parietal ridge parting horizontally across the head. You can see that right on that right side. And then I clip the right side down as well. All right, so the next move that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take a vertical section straight down center back, and then I'm gonna start taking small horizontal slight diagonal forward lines out of the back, bring that down and cut myself a blunt line all the way up until the occipital bone. All right, so now that we got this blunt line on our outer perimeter, I wanna go through and I'm gonna cut some concave layering using tons of over direction. So we're gonna over direct everything to that center back point. Uh, what this is gonna do is remove weight, push weight behind the ear, uh, but also add a ton of movement. Now, I really wanna focus on the length of the layers uh, in that center. So I don't mind if a little bit of hair disconnects, goes past that perimeter line that we cut at the beginning, uh, because I'll just go through and cut that blunt at the very end. That'll give me a thicker edge, great for fine hair, great for medium hair, but I really want to make sure that I have the exact length that I want throughout this haircut. So you can see, again, going through vertical section, then I slightly start shifting diagonal, but still pushing everything into that center back point and cutting those concave layers. All right, so now what do we do with that disconnection that happened from our concave layering? What I'm gonna do is go through and just do a little point cutting to match it up with that bottom perimeter that we cut at the very beginning, and we'll get a nice soft line to it, but it's got a little extra added weight. Like I said before, this is great for fine hair or medium hair to get a nice full effect, but also have tons of layering throughout. All right, so now we're gonna continue uh, the theme of concave layering throughout the side. What this is gonna do is remove weight from the heavy side, uh, which is where all that hair is gonna fall. So I just pull the hair back. I'm also over directing it back to the hairline right behind the ear. Uh, and now I'm going to draw my line, finger angle pointing, really following the jawline a little bit, uh, point cutting to keep it soft, and I just work my way through. All right, so now same thing on the left-hand side. This is the part side of the haircut. So I just go through and then to finalize it, uh, just use that point cutting technique, use my finger angle to follow the jaw, and there you go. Now throughout the top, we're gonna create a guideline right away. Uh, it's gonna be horizontal, parallel to the floor, and I cut that and then I just bring everything back to that point. What that's gonna do is push weight towards the front of the face, 
uh, and we can do some things with that weight later. Uh, you'll also notice that I do a little bit of point cutting through this technique. That's just going to lighten up the line. So I go through, cut a more blunt line, and then I'll go back through and do a little bit of point cutting to soften it up. there you go now we're gonna go in with my brand new tool this is the tri razor by free salon education you can get it on shop FSE so I just pull the hair back and then I use that 25% texture side to just remove a little bit of that weight so now we get this thing all smoothed out you can see how beautiful the shape is how soft it is all the layers that happen the texture and then watch this pop you're gonna see the explosion of texture, the brightness, that flare color. I uh, hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, guys, if you didn't know already, we have an online store called Shop FSE. That's Shop Free Salon Education. Uh, I always love to hear if you guys made it this far in the video. So write made it in the chat uh, down below. And also, go to our online store and use the code made it at checkout. And I'll give you 10% off your order of $100 or more. You can pick up the tri razor, you can pick up the ergo brushes, the combs, the clips. Everything that I use in these videos is available on Shop FSE. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys again. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.